When a shooting occurs, firearm examiners can gather evidence to assist with solving the crime. Examiners can compare and match bullets. Firearm barrels are manufactured with grooves in the barrel which form lands or metal ridges between the grooves. Each barrel has unique marks called striations or striae which are caused by the manufacturing process or through use and corrosion of the barrel. These striations are transmitted to the bullet as it passes through the barrel. Each rifle barrel is unique even if made by the same manufacturer in the same product run. A firearms examiner can compare the unique characteristics of a rifle barrel to a bullet by firing test bullets from the suspected weapon and then comparing the evidence bullet to the test bullet. A comparison microscope is then used to more closely examine the striations on each bullet to see if there is a match. Determining the distance between the gun muzzle and the victim's clothing or skin may establish whether a shooting was an accident, in self-defense, a suicide, or a homicide. Powder and primer residue are projected when a weapon is fired. A shot at close range can leave residues of these materials around the wound and can also burn skin. A contact shot, when the weapon is held against the surface of the target, will not leave residues around the wound, but rather in the underlying tissues through which the bullet has passed. The powder residue produced can form many different patterns depending on the gun and ammunition. Examiners usually fire the suspected weapon to create test patterns which can then be compared to the patterns of the residue found on the victim. It is also helpful if examiners can determine that someone has fired a gun by testing for the presence of primer and powder residue, particularly on the suspected shooter's hands. There are several different methods for testing which commonly test for trace metals or organic compounds found in the powder residue. However, finding the trace metals or compounds does not necessarily mean that the suspect has fired a gun, since handling a weapon or loading and unloading it may also account for the presence of gunshot residue. The absence of residue on a suspect's hands does not mean that he or she did not fire a gun. Having the serial number on a firearm allows an investigator to trace a weapon to the owner. Often the serial number has been filed off or a false number may have been stamped as a replacement. There are several techniques to restore obliterated serial numbers, including applying a suspension of magnetic particles, using an acid solution, or using ultrasonic vibration. For more information, please visit ncstl.org.